Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, January 27th <clears throat> to the 28th Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Right down below there, Scorpio, if you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Uh, don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys. And hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to get a channeled message for you in just one moment. But first, wow, there's Tarot, Ten of Swords. What's a happening? Seven of Pentacles. Well, it's Five of Swords. This card's coming up a lot today. And the Strength card. Huh. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. All right, so let's see what Spirit has for you today, Scorpio. Accomplishing a, a milestone, Scorpio, is something to be proud of. Some of you have recently accomplished a milestone or are about to. Shared discussions with others about these milestones in group settings. You're going to benefit from this. A lot of ideas are going to become here in a setting with this involved. Sharing where you've been and how far you've come can make a difference in somebody's life here. Your words hold power right now, Scorpio. So use them wisely. <laughs> Seek to capture their hearts in this group setting not their minds, their hearts, through your experience. That is where your gift to them lies. Thank you. <clears throat> All right been coming up a lot for you Scorpio okay let's see what's going on Scorpio Scorpio something is ended with the ten of swords hmm this could be anything this could be a job a relationship a place of living but it's something that you spent time and patience nurturing here. But what is this Five of Swords about? Because you're needing strength for something. The world. This is um, yeah, ending a cycle, beginning a new one. Three of Wands is clarifying the Ten of Swords. 
Five of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Jeez, third party situation, definitely Scorpio. Somebody at a distance, possibly. This is ghosting, feeling left out in the cold. Clarify the three of pentacles. Ah, the sun. It could have been a Leo that you were dealing with here with the sun. Okay, this could have been an end to a work situation I'm getting. It, whether this is work or a relationship, I feel like Scorpio, you felt like it was going to bring you happiness. This is the happiest card in the deck, right? So you felt like it was going to bring you bliss. Like I look at this card and I see bliss. Like she's at bliss, right? Clarify the five of pentacles. What happened? Ace of pentacles. Clarify again. King of wands. Ooh, sex of town. Yeah, definitely third party situation. Aries Leo Sag. So, clarify the seven of pentacles. King of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. Six of Pentacles. Somebody's juggling. Somebody's juggling. The Emperor. Ah. Aries Taurus energy. Who is this? These are two different people. Ace of Wands. So the Emperor and the King of Pentacles. Two different people. Six of Cups. Definitely past life soulmate. Now we're getting it there. Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. What is going on with this energy today, man? It's very frantic. That's what I'm feeling with these readings today. It's very, very, almost like earthquakey, like like everything's being shaken up. It's like when you take, you know the game Boggle? You shake up all the letters, and then you have to, you know, Shake it to get the letters to fall in the, the little squares there. That's what this feels like. That's what this energy coming up is feeling like. So something you invested time in, Scorpio, um, ends or did end. Somebody could have been ghosted, left out in the cold. When there was an opportunity here, somebody was waiting as well. Why is the Six of Cups here? The moon. Why is the moon? The fool. All right, there's two people here. So I feel like one ended Scorpio and then the other one here, I feel like there's a new beginning with the Ace of Wands and the Six of Cups and the fool. It may be hidden from you now, but that's what I'm getting over here. Clarify the moon again. Yeah. See? New love. So there's something hidden from you now that's new. Why is the five of swords here? The eight of wands. That's the eight hours of love. The four of pentacles. And the lovers. Wow. You get a lot of loving going on, Scorpio. So you get the lovers, Gemini energy, third party situation again. Well, a choice anyway, right? So somebody's hanging on. Either somebody's hanging on to you, you're hanging on to them. But it's a strong connection here with the lovers. But then you've got new love over here. And I feel like you can't see this yet, but it's here. There's an offer coming to you because there's new, there's a new beginning. Why is the strength card here? 
Seven of Wands, and the Hanged Man. More waiting, defensiveness. I feel like there's a lot of waiting here. It's like waiting and then it's dead. <laughs> this is the only way I can explain it. Similar. Hmm. Similar. I forget who it was. Who was it? Aries, maybe? I forget. Where somebody was frozen. That was similar. Stuck. Couldn't move forward. Well, similar, but it's not the same because you're moving forward. I don't see any movement that stopped. But it's just sort of like, hmm. What's your advice, Spirit, for this ending over here? For Scorpio, Eight of Swords. You've got to release yourself from the self-imposed prison, okay? And if there's a decision that you need to make, you need to make it. That is a twin flame part of mine in this deck. Five of Cups. You've got to get out of that negative thinking because this love will not find you if you stay in that way of thinking. Knight of Swords. And listen to your intuition. Now, you can't listen to your intuition until you set yourself free here. Because I feel like, see, I was feeling it over here with the moon. It's like your intuition knows and can feel this coming. But you got to tap into it here. And you can't tap into it unless you set yourself free. What about this new love? What is your advice? Eight of Pentacles. King of Cups. Ah, an Ace of Swords. I feel like this new love is pretty clear. It may be somebody that you work with with the Eight of Pentacles. But Spirit's saying open up your heart and make sure that you have clarity in this new love before moving forward. Because I don't think it was clear here. I no clarity whatsoever. And that resulted in a Five of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have Princess of Cups again. It's like connecting to your heart, opening your heart, even though it's been hurt, right? And listening to your intuition, I'm feeling that big time. Because I feel like not only, you know, with this Eight of Swords energy, I feel an avoidance with the intuition. It's almost like, as you know, yes, yeah, see, stay connected. This is your advice. We are all born connected to spirits, often known as the divine source. Yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect to the source. Yep. And that's how you're going to feel this new person coming. I, I almost feel like you're afraid to know. It's like, I, I maybe there's something you don't want to know, but you're going to know. And I feel like there's some sort of avoiding it because of that. But I'm telling you, there's good things here. There's very good things here, I'm feeling. All right, Scorpio, I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already have any. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a great day, Scorpio, and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on The Dailies. Namaste.